What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just made it to Jerash, a city in Jordan, south of Amman. Uh, currently inside of it, I was passing by the souvenir shops and the guy was like, hey, why don't you try this traditional scarf on you? And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And once he put it in, I was like, okay, let's just take it. I bought it and now I'm gonna go through. It's a large city. I think it's around 800,000 square meters and uh, I'm not sure what is inside so I'm gonna go inside now I'll have to explore and show you guys around so see you soon so guys now I'm at the entrance of the city Jerash I'm gonna go inside and take you with me there are too many stuff to explore but uh, it's getting hotter and hotter, so I'm gonna go quicker. Oh my god, this is like pretty, pretty far and huge. Guys, wait, I'm gonna show you. Watch. Look how long we have to walk. These buildings are so pretty. If you look at those details and textures, and you just imagine how they built it, it's just insane. Wow. I'm not sure if there are any written stuff above, but there are too many textures. All right, let's let's go inside. <coughs> wow. All right, what is this? Ooh, I love written stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna understand anything for sure, but it just looks so cool. Wow. Guys, just so you have an idea of how old the city is, this city is at least... I mean, it was founded on 7500 PC, that's why I read on Google, but... Uh, and then it was inhabited on the 5,000, I guess. I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's really old, guys. Can you imagine how old the city is? Guys, look what I just found. There is a lizard inside the rock. Look, wait. Oh my God, I really want to catch it. Look, look, look. This building right here was a church. That's what the tourist guide was saying. I just found this entrance to something that I don't even know what. It's like different, they're all the same actually. I need to catch up with that tourist guy, otherwise I'm gonna be lost. I need to know what these are. So guys, as I understood, these all are like old shopping, uh, I don't know, spots. Uh, they're pretty small, but I think before they were like all connected somehow the view from here is amazing wow I'm gonna go upstairs <laughs> made it to the top <laughs> which stuff I'm talking about it's just like five stairs steps anyways let's go check the view <sighs> I'm not sure where we're going next. Don't tell me we're going there. There are some rooms there and stuff, so I guess. But it looks like it's closed here. And maybe there's something there. Since a lot of tourists are going. I asked and they told me we are going all the way there. And there too. And look at this. It's very, very dangerous. Hopefully no one steps there. Let's go back and follow the guide before we get lost. It looks like, you know, this reminds me of like a battlefield or some, I don't know, looks like, I don't know, right? There's this, like the audience here watching and something going on in here. Hello, cute little bird. 
in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm burning alive, guys. Just a reminder for people who are visiting Jordan. In summer, it gets really hot, even in the like in the morning. So, if you're coming here, have something to put on your head. Otherwise, we never know what happens. Even this thing, I don't know if it's protecting me right now, but yeah, it's good still. Better than nothing. Let's see how long are we gonna walk because I'm already blind. I cannot see because of the sun and sweating too much. See you guys soon. This is the second entrance and probably we're not entering from here, but from there. Oh, there's another door there. I think they can open it. This one is not from that age, I'm sure. It looks new. And this is, guys, the oil press where they used to produce oil. They have written things here that I can't read. Guys, this is the Temple of Zeus vault exhibition. And I think this door was not built back then. It's just something they built here to protect it. So guys, this is the Oval Plaza, this huge field right here. And where I'm standing right now, it's the Temple of Zeus, including this big rock, this cone, and this whole thing, all to the all the way till there. Uh, up there, you could, I think I could. They told me you could like take a picture of the whole city. So I'm gonna go up soon. But I want to show you something pretty interesting. <sighs> Let me just. Go down. So the interesting thing is that on 1200 BC was in the Bronze Age. This was like built or something, and then it kept going all the way to the Iron Age, Persian, Persian period, Hellenistic period, Roman period, and starting from the Byzantine period. There, on my finger. Oh my bad, on my finger. There was an earthquake, which caused some damage, I guess, because it looks like this. Um, then Islamic period, and then this is where we're at at the moment. I mean, not the year, but it's the current state of this city. There's a lot of things written, but... And that's Temple of Zeus that I'm going up to right now. We can go up from here, or from the point where I showed you at the beginning. But I'm going from here. I just love this. Wow. Jordan flag, by the way. Jordan flag is right there. Guys, I normally don't like to ask a lot, but if you really like this vlog and appreciate all the hard work I do, it's pretty hard to film in here. You need a lot of time and you keep walking and stuff, so just leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, you can also leave a dislike, which is totally fine. But other than that, enjoy watching the video. See you soon. And here we are. Temple of Zeus. Above me. Gonna go up again. And have a look at the whole city. Because that's what they said. If you go up to Temple of Zeus, you can, say, you can see the whole city here. Let's see. I think you can go from here. So we made it. Temple of Zeus. Well, you can sit down here if you want, but you will burn alive. <sighs> wow, look at this. Wow. The whole city in front of my eyes. Guys, I took some pretty cool pictures. There was a guy up there uh, on this temple of Zeus who took really cool pictures of the whole city and of me. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go there because I'm gonna post all of these pictures there, all my stories. And yeah, now we are heading to the theater. So let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
They just told me that they are gonna play something for me or for us, I mean, for the whole group. So let's see what they're gonna play. This is the whole place where we can sit, I guess. Well, I'm not gonna sit there, but yeah. <laughs> Step I'm taking is like three steps of normal stairs. Let's keep going up. The view is the same, but I love the design of it and being on top. So guys, I made it to the top. I'm enjoying the view actually. Check this out. the music whoa they're going wild Not sure if I'm gonna get the copyright with this, but wow! When I clap here, I feel like yeah, it's too loud. Now we're gonna go this way and all the way up to there. Guys, I'm heading now towards the last section of this city. Hopefully in one hour I'll be done and then afterwards I'm thinking to go to a castle of Ajlun I think it's called You know I was like looking for some water and uh, there was a guy who's Jordanian He was like under the tree I wanted to, I asked him like hey can I have a water and he's like yeah sure go ahead Then I just wanted to pay and he was like no no you don't have to pay just take it I was like no, I mean you are you are here. You're doing your job, and it's not nice to just take it for free. And he's like, no, 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 it's okay. You can take it for free. Sit down. And he even offered me coffee. I just want to say that I'm really happy to see that Jordanians are really kind. So guys, I'm still going through the same street, starting from there, in the middle, where I started. And I uh, just heard that this area right here is a roundabout, and it was like uh, in the middle of the north, south, east, west, and yeah. And this street keeps going all the way to there. It's pretty long actually. I can see an entrance there, a big gate, I can show you. So, if you look all the way there, there's like the gate to something. Let's see. I was walking and I just stopped here to check what this building is. It says the nymph. Um, I can't even pronounce it. Anyways, it's just a monumental fountain. That's what the description was saying. Ah, oh, there's the fountain, I think. Wow, look at those tiny details. Wow. There are too many buildings here as well. I just don't know what they are because 
most of them don't have any description but this one has it says the proper lamb of the sanctuary sanctuary of artemis wow check this out guys i love this one there the palm trees on top looks so cool it gives a nice vibe and here we are after at least one and a half kilometers i think or more there we are at the second or third gate the good thing is that the weather is windy but sunny but it's good it's a balance between the so guys they just told me that this is the last area i can visit in the city so it's pretty like obvious from here i'm not gonna go there to save some time because I have to go still to the castle and basically this is just a gate here another gate there and the columns in between so we have seen that a lot everywhere else so let's just go and then I'll see you soon guys this column here moves continuously and to prove that people actually put a spoon here in between and if you check out the spoon it's actually moving look at it It goes up and down. Can you see it? It's pretty small movement, but you can see that. I tried to position the spoon in different spots, and luckily I found the right spot where you can see the spoon clearly moving up and down. The movement's happening because of the lead element inside the column. It's meant to resist earthquakes, and that's why you can see the spoon moving. Guys, I just realized that this whole path, starting from back there till here, all the way is just flying. I will explain what I mean. In a second. So if you look here in this hole, there's literally nothing inside. Like it's a, it's like at least a half a meter downstairs. There's nothing holding these rocks. Maybe there is, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like. So it's like empty underneath this whole thing. It's just empty. And I don't know, I even know, like, I'm afraid to sink if that's like you walk in one of the rocks fall. Guys, the second water for free. I swear to God, I can't express how kind these people are. Just so nice of them that, like, he didn't want to get money. Look, I'm holding the 5 KD. They don't want to get it. I was like, hey, like, take it for free. Wow. Alright guys, I hope I covered everything in this city. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. That was it for today. I'm gonna head now to the castle and I will film there as well. So, see you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you soon. Those are graveyards, I think. I'm not sure why there are stairs, but I think it's inside, deep inside there. This is just the path that you can go in. Wow, there's another one here. Let's check out. The Southern Necropolis. There's another one here. Yeah, as I said, I think these windows lead to the graveyard.